In this Canva tutorial video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to put an image into a shape here in Canva using the Canva mobile app. So once you have the Canva mobile app opened up on your iPhone or your iPad, I actually want you to go ahead uh, to this bottom left hand side uh, to where there's this purple circle with the plus arrow. I want you to press on that. Uh, then once you're here, I actually want you to do, uh, I actually want you to do a couple of things. So first off, uh, we can select whatever image we want. So if we want to select this image of a car. Uh, we can use this image of a car. Now, if we want to select the shape that we want to put the image inside, I just want you to press on the plus um, icon again. Uh, I want you to go um, press exit out of this. Uh, I want you to scroll down. I want you to scroll down. I want you to scroll down all the way to where it says frames. I want you to press on frames. So press on see all. Uh, then once you hear there's a whole bunch of different options you can select from. So if we wanted to um, add this uh, into a triangle, for example, uh, we can press on the triangle right here. I'll make it a little bit larger. There you go. So as you can tell, I have my photo uh, of these cars and I have the triangle that I want to put the shape into. It's super simple. All I want you to do is press on the shape. I want you to drag the shape with your finger all the way into um, the triangle. Once that is done, I'm going to select the triangle move this up. I'll make it a little bit larger as well. So it's a little bit easier to see. Uh, there you go. Now it's pretty simple. If you want to change the crop in which is showing inside the shape, I want you to press on the icon. Uh, I then want you to double tap it. And then you can go ahead here and actually just drag it and make it as large or as small as you want. So if you want to keep that crop right there, I'm just going to press on done. Uh, and there you go. Uh, that is how you guys can put an image into a shape using the Canva mobile app. I hope this video helps.